And this is how to do a problem with electrolysis. How long would a solution of nickel sulfate have to be electrolyzed with a current of 1.1 amps in order to deposit 30 grams of nickel? Alright, the way to work this is to figure out how many moles of nickel we need and then figure out moles of electrons and then use the amps to convert this to time because an amp is a coulomb per second. So that's how we're going to get from um, sort of voltage or electricity to time. All right, um, just thinking about this, nickel sulfate involves nickel 2 plus, and we want to make nickel. So in some point, we're going to have to take into account that this is a two electron transfer. All right, I can do this all in one big conversion here. I'm going to start out with 30 grams of nickel and it would be helpful if I knew how many moles of nickel that was. So there are 58.69 grams of nickel in one mole of nickel. Then I know from my balanced reaction here that for every one mole of nickel that I produce, I'm going to need two moles of electrons. Okay. Now I actually need to use the Faraday constant. There are 96,485 coulombs in mole of electrons. So this is what we know as F, which is the Faraday constant. Okay, now hopefully you can see where I'm going at this point, okay? I just need to take my amps. I have 1.1 coulombs for every one second. And the time I'm asked for is in hours, so there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. I hope you notice when I string this all together, grams go away, moles of nickel go away, moles of electrons go away, coulombs go away, seconds go away. My units that I'm left with are hours. So let me put that all into my calculator and I wind up with 24.9 hours which is only good to two sig figs so how about 24 hours? That's how long I have to run this electrolysis.